the uh, absolute exclusivity of this uh, uh, building, the company decided to cap, to limit the production number to 375 units. Uh, in this way, we are sure that uh, the view of this uh, car on the road uh, is an unforgettable sight by anybody getting caught uh, with, uh, with this car. In Japan, this car is going to be sold at a price of 96,615,000 yen. We have uh, a requirement for heating to escape the car as efficiently as possible. So what makes the car very distinctive from the back is that it almost resembles not having the back of a car, that there's nothing in the back except uh, visibility into the engine. This was required because the engine produces so much heat that we have to find the most efficient way to get the heat to come out of this car. Tail lights are obviously a restriction for this. They have a large area, so we've minimized the tail lights on the car to allow the maximum air to come out to this area. So that you can see that the tail lamps are just a very, very fine strip of light on the back of the car, giving us more surface area for the heat. Uh, to come out of the back of the car and uh, to increase also the amount of space that we have for the diffuser on the back of the car, which is a very important element that we use to create downforce on the back of the car. If you allow me, I will briefly show you the complexity of the door. And you will see that one of the more interesting areas of the design is this area here. Uh, you can see that it is with various pieces of design. Uh, carbon fiber penalty, uh, but it's very efficient. This is the type of design that you would normally see on a Formula One car and not on a road car. It's very difficult to achieve surfaces like this from a design point of view. It's mostly designed using what we call CFD, computational fluid dynamics, and that allows us to design parts that increase the aerodynamic performance on the car without going into the wind tunnel and uh, working there. So a lot of these elements here, although they look very beautiful and very unique, they're actually engineered through our working out with the wind tunnel. And you can see what I mean from the beginning, that design being very closely related with the aerodynamics creates a part uh, that is very functional and yet very beautiful at the same time. So we have various elements that when you come close to the car, you can see are, are very unique. But this is only one small part of it, and like I said, the car has many, many elements that are very unique in that sense.